What is up everyone? So we have now arrived to the top of Sri Lanka, Jaffna. So we arrived here yesterday. Um, I haven't really been filming much previous other days just because it's been miserable weather and not too much has been happening. But I'll keep you up to date. So before here, we are in a place on the east coast called Trikamale. It was really interesting because we ended up stumbling upon a Hindu wedding. We are walking into a temple and they had a huge wedding in there. So that was really cool to experience. And we also got ourselves a coconut knife. So we've been carrying like all these big king coconuts everywhere we go. So every day we've been having king coconuts. And I also cut myself playing with that knife. So that happened. <laughs> but this morning we are going to head to a fish market on the coast here. It kind of sucks because the weather is really not that great and it does not look like it's going to get any better. But yeah, well, I'm not too sure what we're going to do today, but we'll start with the fish market and see where the day takes us. Let's go. central of the fish market right now so this is really interesting to see for me because coming from my background I'm actually a fisherman and at the moment like there's just a lot of crabs, prawns, we got heaps of different varieties of fish, it's even giant stingrays but this is probably the best time to get here during the morning because like everything will be fresh and I'm pretty sure the majority of the people selling this fish and seafood are going to be here the whole entire day. So if it's a hot day, like this is just sitting out here and stinking up the place. And right now I'm positive, that is a giant stinger right here. I'm positive that I'm the only white tourist here, so you probably stand out like a sore thumb. Yes, yeah, so it definitely wasn't the biggest fish market, but all the fish seemed a lot fresher than I expected it to be. Like compared to many other fish markets I've been around Sri Lanka, that was probably the freshest fish I've seen and it should have been because it's early in the morning and like we're right next to the ocean. But right now we're gonna try to squeeze as much as we can in like while the weather is sort of good. We've been wanting to go to a fort for a long time and then there's another big temple. Well, hopefully we can get all this with good weather. Okay, so right behind me is the Nalor Koval. So this right here is the biggest Buddhist temple in Jaffna and it is also the most, most iconic place around this area. Uh, I don't think I can actually film the inside so we're just going to have a check around outside. Okay, so this, is a, this is the first that I've seen this part of religion. Apparently you actually have to take your shirt off if you want to go inside. I, I haven't seen that anywhere else in any Koval in Sri Lanka except here. Wow, I really wish I could show you guys inside that cobalt because that was so impressive. Like, it was huge. It was absolutely massive inside and we were easily the only two tourists in there. I still don't understand why you have to take your shirt off though because like everyone inside had no shirt on. Uh, if anyone around the area or if anyone in Sri Lanka understands why you have to do that, please leave a comment um, below. And also, I'd like to know why they do this. So, every cobalt I've gone to, there's been like a rock where they crack the coconuts over. Like, it's got something to do with the religion. But I just don't understand why they do that. So, yeah, please inform me, guys. Comment below. I forgot to mention as well, so if you guys didn't see one of my videos from a while ago, I had a bit of an encounter with the police and I didn't end up having my license on me. So I haven't been driving for like a whole week and a half and Tal over here has been driving Good everywhere. Champ Bloody champ. But thanks to tuktukrental.com because I just contacted them uh, to see if they can sort out my license and they ended up sending my license to Trincomale where I picked it up. So now I can finally drive again, which is good. Um, so right now we are in like, I think it's like the biggest city part of Jaffna. 
And I think Jaffna itself is not like very touristy. It's kind of like the slums of Sri Lanka. I, I personally haven't seen one other tourist other than us yet. Uh, and right now we're gonna be checking out a market. So let's see what this market has to offer. It kind of just seems like this market is situated around a bus stop. There's a bus stop right in the middle here, bus station, and then all the market is beside it. I feel like majority of markets I go to, they always section off certain like stalls in different areas. So this whole street right here is just full of fruit stalls. So the fruit around here actually looks really good. The grapes look insanely huge. It's probably the best looking grapes I've seen in the presentation of all these fruit stalls. Just so inviting. What do I believe? What makes me feel it? To write you this song. Welcome to our next Jaffna destination. So this is the Jaffna Fort. It is really good because this whole fort is free to come inside. Um, I don't understand how it's free because it is really big. It looks like such a cool fort and it's right on the water as well. I wish I knew a bit of history behind this, but I don't know too much. But just from what it says here, it says it was constructed in 1619 by the Portuguese as a four-sided garrison. So like from the above shots, that's what it looks like. So it kind of looks like a big giant star. Um, and then you got all these rivers here surrounding the whole fort. So we can go up in here and we'll see what's inside. Two hours a day, five months and a year. Oh, I loved you too long You keep blowing me out I keep holding you in You can definitely tell how long it's been here for like, These trees have completely taken over this fort here Just like eating it all the roots and stuff are growing right over the wall and through it. I like how you can just freely roam around this place. Like we've just come to the very end of one section of the fort. You got these little doors. Oh, look at this. Oh, hey, hey. What are you doing over there? <laughs> Whoa, you're right in the middle of it. I'm here till it breaks. Oh, how my heart aches. So we seem to have lucked out with the weather and it's completely cleared up but we're going to squeeze in as much as we can in this small window time frame while we have this weather so on to the next one Venturing on the road from the central town of Jaffna all the way onto the islands to this area. So this is as far, pretty much as far as the end of the road we can get to. And we're gonna see if we can catch a ferry over to the island 
jumps across here. So this island is called Nani Timu. We're not 100% sure if we can get the ferry, but we'll see. So we've just come to the end of the wharf now. We see that people are coming off the ferry, but we actually don't know the protocol at all. Like, we don't know where to buy the tickets for the ferry, or how much it's gonna cost, or how long it's gonna to take to the, get to the other side of the island. So hopefully we can sort that out right now. This boat ride over to the island is very cheap, it's only 40 rupees, but to get to the boat, we first have to get on a boat to get to the next boat. So we have to go on a boat to a boat to get over to the island. Welcome to Nativu Island. So we have two temples on this island. This one here, uh, as you can see behind me, there is a snake statue. So it has been told that the people on this island worship snakes. I don't know if they still that do that to this day, uh, but yeah, that's just some of the stories that I've heard. And there's another temple we're gonna go to, like it's the, the bigger one, which is out in that direction. Let's go explore. the crazy entrance inside of this temple. So you've got two giant elephants on each side of this massive Koval temple right here. But that is gonna have to be an end for today's adventures throughout Jaffna and around Jaffna. Um, so I, there's actually a lot more to do than I expected there to be. Like exploring these islands have definitely been the best because you can just go, you can spend about 40 minutes driving from island to island to island all the way to the tip and make your way to this beautiful island to see these awesome temples. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. If you did, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you on the next adventure around Sri Lanka. Thanks for watching, follow your dreams, skate your comfort zone, bye.